Hi everybody, it's Dr. Francine from the Chiropractic Center where we really care about you and your success. And today I wanted to share with you five simple shoulder rolling exercises or techniques that I really feel can make a big difference to help heal your rotator cuff muscles. And before we get started, as always, you always want to check with your healthcare provider to make sure that these exercises are right for you. So the first uh, shoulder rolling technique that I'm going to share with you today is to work on your pec muscle. So here I have my trusty little co-star and he's been in a few videos with me uh, already and he always reminds me to be grateful and I hope he does the same for you too. So we're going to place, take a hockey ball, a lacrosse ball, a hard ball and what you want to do is you're going to place it first of all on your pec muscle. So your pec muscle, you can put it in the palm of your hand and you're going to roll. Your pec muscle is the muscle that goes from the sternum here, this bone, your chest bone, and then out to the shoulder. Now you notice here that I'm stopping right before I get to my shoulder. You never want to roll over this area right here. And this is a great way to get started. The great thing is you can do this when you're at the office. You can do this while you're watching TV. Um, you can do it even when you're on a conference call. Uh, so that's a great way to roll out the pec muscle. The other way that you can do your pec muscle is actually to stand maybe about six inches away from the wall with your toes facing the wall. And then what you're going to do is start to bend your knees. You're going to lean towards the wall. So you're actually going to use your body weight and you're going to turn your head and then you're going to be able to roll the pec muscle by going, moving your, your body up and down and sideways um, over the wall or uh, while you're close to the wall. And that's a great way as well to get a little bit more pressure, a little added pressure on that pec muscle. Now the next uh, sh shoulder rolling technique that I'm going to show you is to look at the deltoid muscle. So that's this muscle right along the side of the shoulder here and often it gets quite tight as well. So using the same technique that you did uh, close to the wall, you're going to stand sideways towards the wall. You're going to place the ball right on the side of your shoulder and you're going to start to roll. So you can go up and down. So you can see I'm bending my knees and I'm using my body weight against the wall. And this is a fantastic way to really get that shoulder, the side of the shoulder and break up any scar tissue that you might have there. So the next three exercises that I'm going to share with you focus more along the back of the, the uh, shoulder and also the, your, uh, between the shoulder blade and the spine. So some people have a little bit of a hard time reaching that area. I find if you use a sock, so you can put the ball in a sock if you're having a hard time and the ball keeps falling on the ground. That's a much, much easier way uh, to prevent, I guess, the ball from dropping on the ground and then you get frustrated. So you can use a sock, you can, you can choose not to use a sock. To illustrate, I'm going to show you how to position the ball and then you can choose whether or not you want to use the sock. So the first exercise we're going to focus on now, or the third one we're going to focus on, is um, between the shoulder blade and the spine. There's a lot of muscles that connect into that area. So if you can position the ball right there between the shoulder blade and the spine, you can then uh, step again away from the wall and use your body weight because you're going to lean back. So you're going to position the ball and then you're going to lean back and then you can use your uh, body weight and just go up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, That's a fantastic way for you to uh, really focus on that area. That will really help the shoulder blade. Now, for a lot of pe people, when they have rotator cuff problems, they're not able to, to lift their arm properly and it gets really painful in the back of the shoulder. So the other area you want to focus on is the, the back of the shoulder itself. So again, you can position the ball along the back of the shoulder. You're going to uh, stay about six inches away from the wall. You're going to lean towards the wall and then you're going to focus right on this area right in here. So this area right in here, you're gonna position the ball and then you can go back and you're gonna go up and down along the wall like that. I love this exercise. This is one of my favorites. But I have to tell you, my ultimate favorite is coming up last and that's the fifth one. If you are able to lift your arm up and lift it over your shoulder, what I would suggest you do is lift your arm, put the, the back of your hand or put the palm of your hand on your shoulder blade and then you're going to take the ball and you're going to position it right in this area here. So you can see there's my shoulder blade, there's my humerus or my, my arm bone here. I'm not positioning it in my armpit, I'm putting it just slightly behind my armpit. And I'm going to find this little nook right in here and you put that right against the wall. Now I'm going to caution you because this one can be quite painful. So go easy with your pressure and then you're going to use again your body weight and you're going to bend your knees up and down and that is a fantastic exercise. For me that is the ultimate one that helps uh, with the rotator cuff. So. I hope you found those tips super helpful. We went over five simple shoulder rolling techniques 
Um, you know, make sure that you're consistent with it. Rotator cuff problems can be so draining because they take a long time to get better. Do this every day if you can, and it can make a big difference in the long run. I hope you found those tips helpful. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, let your healing begin.